Okay, and then we have this differential array, and how we can inspect this differential array status. There is really easy job that we open these bolts in here, and for that opening, I need 12 millimeter socket, and I open next all of these bolts in here, and then I can take that cover out, and soon we can continue. Okay, and now I have open these almost all bolts, and only a couple of bolts are left in here, and I open those final bolts in here. In that way. Okay. Now, and then I can take all of these bolts away in here. And now when they are away, I can open this cover, and this cover opens so that again I need knife, and then I insert that in this side, and carefully Okay, and now it is spiked, and that means, okay, there is one bolt left. Okay, this is the reason. Okay, and let's, let's try now. Okay, and cover. Cover opens really easily. And then there's interesting, look, this area that air goes in, in this different area, in that way. Okay, good. And now we can see this different deal area, and we can inspect also that, that is this everything working. Okay, that these gears are good, and there is no any worn out. And there is, by the way, speed sensor, sensor number one. Okay, hello and welcome my friend. And then I am planning to show you that how works this car speed sensor. And here I have automatic transmission. And this part is in here, is this sensor. And when we are driving in here, in these holes goes drive shaft, what goes in wheels. And when engine is running, this different wheel is moving in that way. And it, in the same way, this car speed sensor moves also in the same way. Look, that white wheel. And then when it moves, it sends data in this sensor, what is in here. And this is like Toyota's way to do these things. And this is sensor. And then if I like to replace this sensor, I need to take this 10 millimeter socket. And also there is cable. First I click that and I take electric wire away. But in that position goes my socket. And then I take my wrench and I open the bolt and we can look how I can take it away and there is that size of bolt and then I believe that if everything is okay I only a little bit move that and, and there is then the speed sensor look it looks like that and when this part moves it sends data in here inner, there is electric magnets, and then it sends this electric information to our scar, car's speed meter. And this part, and in that way, if we have any issues in our car, we can replace this new sensor, and then when we install the pack, it goes, goes in that way, in here, and, and then this part start to take contact and then I have to install this locking bolt in back in here and then, then I have to fasten that bolt also. Okay, this is this information that how 
how speed sensor works and how we can replace that. And this speed sensor is really from Toyota Camry car, automatic transmission car. And year model is 92.